Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to be working on our inventory. We're going to be expanding out some of the features. Nothing too crazy today. We're just going to be building out basic equipping systems. It's not actually going to do anything. It's just going to highlight which item is equipped. And right now that's just going to be one item. This is a good starting point for expanding later on. And we'll be expanding it to probably multiple items. As well as having them actually do functionality when equipped. But for now this will just be our starting point. In addition to this we're also going to clean up a issue that has been around for a couple episodes now. Which is whenever you pick up items more than what you are able to carry they just kind of evaporate into thin air and we're going to make the inventory system kick them back out near the player so let's go ahead and dive in and get started now this is just going to be modifying two scripts the first one's going to be the inventory slot and the second one's going to be the inventory handler but this does require a highlight to be created so right now the highlight is just a panel that we're going to be putting on the inventory slot it's going to be hidden all the time unless the inventory slot is selected as being equipped and then it's just going to make this little highlight visible now it's important to note the texture rec for the actual icon is below this so if we fill that with an icon you can see it overlays over the top of that that way we don't have any issues with it being not visible so that's pretty much it we're just going to leave that hidden and we'll tie into this via code in a minute Speaking of which, the first thing we're going to be doing is altering the inventory slot. We're going to be adding in a new signal for whenever we equip it, as well as tying into the double click. And we're also going to be modifying the fill slot a little bit to handle when an item is equipped. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new signal that's just going to be on item equipped, and we're going to put that right up above the on item drop signal. We're just going to need one integer for this. So it'll be the slot ID, and we're going to be filling that using the GUI input function or the override in C sharp. This is going to occur anytime we're clicked or anything like that in the GUI, and we're going to be looking for the input event mouse button, and we're also going to specifically be looking for the left mouse button input event, as well as whether it's double click. This is going to make it so that every time it double clicks, we're going to call the on item equipped signal and we're going to be passing in that inventory slot id now we do need to go ahead and modify the fill slot function we're going to be passing in a boolean saying whether this one is equipped or not and we're just going to use that to determine the item highlight for equipped being visible based off of whether it's equipped using that boolean now we do need a reference to that panel we're just going to put it right up above the icon slot texture rec and we're going to call that equipped highlight all right, and now that we have the inventory slot working, you might have noticed we're going to get a bunch of errors over in the inventory handler anytime we're filling that slot because we did change how that's functioning. Now, this is just going to be handling whenever we're highlighting an object with the inventory slot, so we're going to need to modify all of these to be passing over a Boolean saying whether we're highlighting it or not. So let's go ahead and dive into the inventory handler and get started on that. So the first thing we're going to be doing is tying into that on item equipped signal and we're just going to be calling a function that doesn't currently exist called item equipped. So we're going to be dropping that one down just below the pickup item function and we're going to be calling it with a slot ID which will just be an integer. We're going to be first off checking to see if equip slot does not equal negative one and that's an integer we need to go ahead and put up at the top. And then we're going to be checking to see if equip slot does not equal negative one then the equip slot dot fill slot function will be called with the slot data that's already in that function function and just setting its equip to false. That'll go ahead and clear out any equipped item that already exists. Next, we're going to check to see if the slot ID does not equal the equip slot and the inventory slot slot ID does not equal the null. Then we're going to go ahead and use the function fill slot with that data, but just setting it as equipped to true. And we're going to select that equip slot ID to the new slot ID. If not, we're just going to say it's a negative one. Following this, we can go ahead and go up to the pick up item function and we're going to set the fill slot function there with the equip to false. Then we're going to need to hop down to the item dropped on slot function and we're going to need to handle anytime we're swapping items that one of them is equipped. So we're just going to check to see if the equip slot does not equal negative one and it does equal either the from or the to slot. We're just going to invert it and then we're going to when we call that function for fill slot we're going to call the equipped boolean being if the equip slot equals that slot id. Now we're going to hop down to the drop data function and we're going to handle if the drop data's slot equals the equip slot. And if so, we're just going to set it to negative one and we're going to set the equipped Boolean in the fill slot there to false because we're setting it to a null value anyways. Now that's it with the equipped item. We do need to handle whenever we're picking up an item if there's no space in our inventory. So we're going to go up to the picked up item function and we're going to set a Boolean found slot to false and we're going to set it to true if we do find a slot. And if we don't find a slot down at the end of the function, we're just going to go ahead and just spawn that item out into the world using the item model prefab.instantiate. We're just going to set it to the parents of our player body and its position to our player body's global position plus the player body's global transform.basis.x just multiplied by two so it kind of kicks it out to one side. 
All right, so that should handle all the code. Let's go ahead and save that. Over on the inventory slot, we are gonna need to go ahead and set up our highlight. So over in the equipped highlight, we can select the equipped highlight panel there, and we should be able to save this. And that should be pretty much it. Let's go ahead and hit play and see how it looks. All right, so if we pick up a couple items here and then we double click one, we can now see it's in, it's highlighted because it's equipped. And if we move it from one to the next, we can see the highlight moves with it because it knows that it is equipped. And if we drag it out, it'll go ahead and drop it. And that should be pretty much it. Let's go ahead and check to see if we pick up too many items. What happens? And we need one more item. And now it kicks it out to the right. So you can you can set up this however you like. I would probably make it so that it would drop wherever it started, but currently the signal for picking up an item wasn't actually passing that data. So that's something that you'd probably wanna pass. Just pass its global transform and then set its global transform back to that if you are unable to pick it up or maybe slightly above it so it just bounces a little bit. But for now, this will work just fine. And we've got some really basic equipping mechanics that we can use later on. Next up, we'll probably be making a little hot bar so that that way we can drag items onto it and also remove them from it. And then that way we can press various F keys or one through one, two, three, four, whatever keys and equip that given item. So that'll be what's up next. As always, thank you all for watching. I hope you all had a wonderful week. We'll see you all back here next week for the next tutorial.